and it's really again. <laughs> and again and again. Um, I'm, oh, I'm Carly. Um, I felt like I was able to enter it in a really um, significant way. I would be on the subway and find that some lines from Rosa's book would come into my head and I wouldn't even really realize where they were from at first. They would just, um, they wouldn't come to me as like memories of uh, something I'd read, but as uh, like truths, things that have um, always existed. Um, so I'm honored to be here presenting this wonderful book. I, uh, thank you all for coming. Um, and thank you, McNally and Jackson, for hosting us. Um, and Carly, if you don't know, is the managing editor of Future Poem, but she's also uh, an important person here at the bookstore. So um, that's it really was great to, to, to have be hosted here. Um, and um, just if you're not familiar with Future Poem, we are a New York City-based innovative uh, publisher of innovative literature, we're a nonprofit, um, and we have, I think Rosa's book will be our 26th book in the world, so that's over the last uh, 10 or so years, maybe, actually it's sneaking up on 12 or 13, maybe. Um, and, uh, um, you know, we have a very interesting process, which you may or may not know about, which is we have a rotating panel of um, guest editors to mix it up a little bit and um, make sure that we have a diversity of editorial opinions and different a, a range of aesthetics all sort of within the framework of looking for work that's new and innovative and doing something different that we haven't seen before. So the guest editors that uh, were part of the panel that chose Rosa's book and another book um, were uh, Roberto Tejada and Maymay Bersenbruga. Um, and it was a really wonderful panel. And as well, our former managing editor before Carly, Jennifer Tamayo, uh, was part of that process as well. So that was really great to have her involved. And uh, I have a few other quick thank yous, and I'm going to read a list because I'm getting older. <laughs> Um, I wanted to thank our wonderful designers, uh, Rose's book over there, and the people responsible for the cover design are uh, a couple um, who go under the name of Everything Studio, and they've been designing our last, um, I don't know how many books, but like it's maybe seven or eight books now, um, and they, were, they did a really amazing job working with Rosa and us, um, uh, Future Poem on this. Um, and I also want to thank uh, Nikita Cahoon, who's our remote um, uh, interior book designer, who I've never personally met, but met virtually, and so it's really, she did an amazing job as well. Um, quick thank you to the New York State Council on the Arts and the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, which support Future Poem currently and make this book possible. Um, and. Um, I want to thank Ted Dodson, um, who did copy editing on the book and is also involved with the press. Um, of course, a big thank you to Carly, who's amazing. <laughs> and um, that's about it. Um, uh, you know, in addition to the, those grant makers, we we're supported by donations from individuals. So if you're interested in supporting us or getting involved in a different way, check us out. Um, so I'll, I'll turn it over to Carly. I just want to say quickly, too, that there are a ton of books over there, and you should all check them out after the reading. There's also wine and snacks, so please help yourselves.